Welcome again to another episode of Fish Keeping Jamaica. Welcome to my channel. Today I speak about one of the most misunderstood aquarium kept fish uh, within the hobby. Okay, today I'm talking about the, the pleckle. Now, uh, pleckles are aggressive uh, fish species. Now, there are several different types of pleckle. Now, in Jamaica, the most common pleckle, if there is any other, is the common pleckle, which is very aggressive. Right? Pleckle love algae. Uh, at a small age to probably about when it reach about probably about uh, five six inches right uh, the, the, the lightning for algae kind of change and it likes um, a specific type of food all right so uh, you put your pleco within your aquarium uh, with your angels or with your severum or with some other fish like goldfish and cod and uh, these pleco are practically larger than these fish or probably the same size and you realize that uh after a while you see some dark spots on these fish these are opportunistic opportunistic moment for them where it's they actually uh at night because they are nocturnal they actually uh, stick uh, themselves on to the uh, aggressive uh fish species now there are several different type of pleco now in jamaica the most common pleco if there is any other is the common pleco which is very aggressive right pleco love algae uh at a small age to probably about when it reach about probably about uh five six inches right uh the the, the lightning for algae kind of change and it likes um a specific type of food all right so uh you put your pleco within your aquarium uh with your angels or with your severum or with some other fish like goldfish and cod and uh, these pleco are practically larger than these fish or probably the same size and you realize that uh after a while you see some dark spots on these fish these are opportunistic opportunistic moment for them where which they actually uh at night because they are nocturnal they actually stick themselves onto these fish uh because they are flat uh and they are docile they're not aggressive and they actually suck off the slime so in doing that sometimes well most of the time they actually hurt the fish and the, the fish become uh what i call it now uh more prone to illness right and sometimes the attack is so 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 bad that it damages the fins and the tails or uh, some other aspect of the fish and the fish eventually die uh i have had my experience uh shortly well i have had my experience recently where i purchased uh five uh one inch one and a half inch uh severum right and i had like about i, I just i'm a fact, i just bought uh a three inch pleco right and i placed a three inch pleco within the 60 gallon divided uh on my veranda right and the pleco actually uh killed one and i saw when the tail of the other was actually beaten off right and within a few days it uh actually died and you might say that why is it that i'm not showing you this um this is because at the moment when i actually uh, realized that it was really really difficult for me to actually do the filming right um so i just had to do the next best thing which was to uh remove the pleco place it into an aquarium or should i, should I say place it, in, place it within a, a, a space where it, it has a fish that is kind of aggressive like it i place it into the juvenile jack dempsey pond right so uh the juvenile jack dempsey pond as you can see has a lot of algae so therefore it will be okay for the next couple of months right plecos are very very opportunistic right uh they grow very large especially the common pleco uh, one of the reasons why a lot of persons in jamaica actually purchase pleco is because they call it algae eater well pleco only eat algae up to a particular point within their development right after which they really need vegetables they really need food so as to sustain themselves lack of food and other fish species within the the the, the, the the space they will actually suck on the slime and sometimes they might end up consuming the slime and the fish together because what happens is that when they stuck themselves on the fish for example if they stuck themselves on a, a large uh sword tail or a large molly fish in sucking off the slime the fish might end up um going down the throat of the pleco yeah it happens right uh angel fish is like 
target for them, right? Because it's flat, so therefore it's easy for them to actually suck onto the angelfish side. So you should be very careful when actually choosing to place plecker within your space. My idea of having a plecker uh, is primarily to deal with uh, algae, right? So I purchased them when I was small. Um, but I never expected that it start to actually consume the slime on the fish at this young age Okay, so what happened is that I am um, I have moved them as I said and I advise you whenever you're keeping common plecker I don't know about the rest of them, but I know about common plecker, right? Um, you place them in an aquarium that is either semi-aggressive or aggressive just like them right because it will cause a problem now it will be a problem for the plecker to actually put himself on the the, the jack them the juvenile because they themselves are aggressive right and they will nip him all right so therefore it, it's going to be annoying for him to try to do that but with the serum it's a little bit more you not know, docile in comparison to right a plecker can also go with askers but you know askers like to eat anything that actually moves so uh whenever placing plecos within an asker uh space you should ensure that the pleco itself is um the head is larger than the asker mouth and remember asker goes at least a, a minimum of one inch per month so you have to keep bear, bear that in mind i've seen cases where um, askers try to actually swallow pleco and it you know both of them die because the pleco is halfway down the throat and the asker you know is choking and all that so thank you very much for stopping by uh have a wonderful day a, a rough learning by experience but you know, I knew it, you know, but I never knew that it was it would happen so quick. Um, catch you next time. Bye.